Hey, what's up, everyone? Today we're talking about the secret security best practices. Yes, they are secret. The security best practices for managing secrets in a Terraform cloud environment. Now, before we go into this, you probably want to understand that, hey, Terraform cloud is the SaaS version of something called Terraform. Now, there are a few challenges for people who may have been using Terraform or probably never heard of it. Terraform is the local version of Terraform cloud, which you can use on your laptops and probably is being used by a lot of people because it's free. The challenge over here is me as a developer or an engineer who is managing secrets on a Terraform locally, I may decide to, I don't know, for whatever reason, hard code my secrets or the files that I'm managing. There are multiple files that create, get created when you do a Terraform initiate or a Terraform plan or a Terraform apply as you go through the workflow. The Terraform state file, which is probably the most important file in any Terraform deployment, that's how it knows that, oh, this is a state that I need to maintain. That's also stored locally. Then variable files where you might have all the variables that you will be using, whether it's your secrets like API access keys or maybe other secrets like, hey, this is what my password is, which you should use to connect, connect to my database, like things like that. And even your environment variables as your provider variables. Some environment variables may even have your local AWS access keys. So it can get quite bad in terms of how you can manage secrets. Now, the challenge is not specific from a part that I am not doing a good job. It just could be anyone across the company. Now, as a cloud security engineer or someone who's interested in managing the secrets effectively for Terraform Cloud across the board, you probably want to think from a scale perspective. So it's not just one developer, but across the board, in across your company, how many engineers and how many developers and how do you do that at scale? This is where Terraform Cloud really helps. Terraform Cloud is the SaaS version, as I mentioned. What it does is instead of storing your state file locally or your variables locally, you still declare the variables locally, but you are able to declare the variables as sensitive and directly in Terraform Cloud. So instead of using the files on your local machine, it uses the files on the Terraform Cloud environment, which you would create an account for. Also, you can declare certain information as your variable or environment variable as being sensitive, which means that say, if you are trying to view it, it would become a, I guess, one of those star things that you normally see people do talk about. Now, the advantage over here is the fact that your developers still working off a local file. They would still be able to do what they were doing before, but instead it almost forces them to go down the path of using the VCS functionality where you would connect it to a, a source code repository like GitHub, GitLab, or one of those Azure DevOps or whatever as well. So you're able to use that uh, to make sure there are no hardcore secrets hopefully being stored in the information that's being sent across over there. Now, the good part with this also is that Terraform Cloud, you can manage access because of SaaS. You can manage the right read permissions of who can do what to a workspace or a plan. And you can choose to have separation in terms of projects. So if there's a production environment, you have a separate workspace project for, these are the projects which are production and all of the workspace inside it should be even more restricted. You can do that as well. That's kind of where the advantage of Terraform Cloud comes in. But you don't have to just rely on the native feature of Terraform Cloud. You could also be cloud native. You could use things like AWS Secret Manager, Azure Key Vault, uh, Google Secret Manager, or maybe even uh, this another product from HashiCorp, HashiCorp Vault, which is also free if you want to use that and at least free to an extent. So you are able to use Secret Manager, which if you are someone who's basically been doing cloud formation, AWS for a long time, you are able to use the existing Secret Manager services to manage secrets across this as well, which also means you still have to manage the secret access for who can access secrets for users in those locations specifically, but you can also have granular level of access. So that's one good advantage. So, you know, like a really good security practice, maybe just go down the path of Terraform Cloud. Now, I wanted to show you the screen of what it looks like when you're trying to create Terraform Cloud variables where you can point a tick box and say it is sensitive, which could be a private key. Now, when it does appear on the screen for the individual, as you can see over here, it would appear as hashed or sensitive right only. So obviously I've obfuscated the information over here. This is a screenshot from the HashiCorp website, but you can also do that for AWS secrets as well. So as you can see, this kind of goes a long way in at least helping us keeping secrets specifically from people who may be trying to access a project that you're working on without making it obvious. Now, these are just the inputs. We haven't even gone to the other part, which is there could be outputs that require it to be sensitive. You may have a password being generated randomly and you can declare 
the output to be sensitive as true when you build the infrastructure plan and that will allow it to be sensitive. So if you notice over here, the output is supposed to be BPC ID and we made the sensitive equals variable true. When the output came out, it said it is sensitive. So this could be your username, password and other information that you may actually think about as sensitive for your environment. Now, the third and the final best practice I would call out over here is that instead of just doing management on Terraform Cloud or instead of just doing things on a local level, you can also manage secrets effectively by doing encryption. Encryption could be using cloud native things like your key management service from AWS or other keyboard services, and you encrypt the file locally and you use the information that is in your uh, state file to access encrypted information. That also means that you have an encrypted copy locally, which you probably need to keep, keep secure, but you, know, you can obviously use the information in your cloud native services to hold that information for you as well. So it's double encryption if you want to get down that path as well. But that being said, uh, I just want to quickly summarize. If you are doing security, I just want to quickly summarize security best practice for Terraform secret management is if you are able to use Terraform Cloud, which has a free version, definitely use Terraform Cloud. This takes care of your state files. Make sure your variables and environment variables have a sensitive option, same as the output as well. Now, you, as I mentioned, you can do this in your local file as well, but you obviously have to manage that and you kind of have to figure out which one is being used by board. You can group them together. You can also still use cloud native features and external sources for managing secrets as well. Or the last and probably favorite for some people who may be in the government, double encryption. So encrypt the value before it's even saved onto it as well. Now, that's most of what I wanted to cover on this video, but if you want me to show you a walkthrough on the AWS console screen or just a Terraform cloud screen, happy to do that. Definitely drop that as a comment. We talk about everything cloud native on this channel. So AWS, Azure, Google Cloud, Terraform, Kubernetes, we make tutorials of those. So if that is of interest, definitely check out the other content on the Cloud Security Podcast channel. Otherwise, follow, subscribe, and leave a comment if you want us to make a specific video that would be helpful for yourself. Drop that as a comment, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.